Hello everyone, hope you all well with good health and you are watching Shama online cooking session. Today we are preparing two types of the masala, special for dal and kadi. It's a Gujarati dal and Gujarati kadi. During the event or the occasions, those who are the main chefs, they are making this dal and kadi. It's delicious and it's very tasty. And you can save this masala for a kadi masala, you can save for one to three months and dal masala you can store it for six months so let's get started after two minutes i'm adding here 20 to 25 leaves of curry they are dry leaves and slightly roasting them switching off the flame and allow them to cool down now they are cooled down i'm adding here one cup of red chili flakes you can use whole chili as well if you are using whole chili then you use 50 gram of whole chili red whole chilies and half full of two teaspoon of turmeric powder full one teaspoon of hing as a 40 dia now this whole masala will go in our grinder jar and i'm going to make a powder so here our dry dal masala is ready. You can store in a jar. You can store this masala for 6 months and use it whenever you are preparing Gujarati dal. To prepare kari masala, I am using here 3 times kari masala. You can use this. And this you can store in a frozen department for 1 month. Normally if you are preparing your curry masala, use it freshly so it will give nice taste to your curry. For this I am using 8 green chilies, 1 inch of ginger, 1 inch of green fresh turmeric and this is the same but it is white, 4 to 5 garlic clove, 25 green curry leaves, 2 tablespoon of green to wear but this is optional if you don't want you can omit this and 1 cup of roughly chopped green coriander I'm going to make a fine paste of this masala and you can store this masala in frozen department you can use this kind of tray to frozen you this masala and you can use this within one month you can use ice cube tray as well so now Let's prepare first curry and then dal. Now we are preparing curry from this masala. To prepare curry, we have very less masala because we have used everything in our paste. Special main ingredients is yogurt. I am using here Greek yogurt. One cup of Greek yogurt carries three cup of water. And this measurement we are preparing for four people. So first I am adding here. 1 cup of yogurt 1 cup of yogurt you can use any yogurt if you are preparing at home you can use that yogurt as well first I am going to mix this very well and make it smooth so yogurt is nice and creamy here I am adding 1 tablespoon of basin mix well 2 tablespoon of sugar salt per taste and 1 tablespoon half full tablespoon of this masala half full tablespoon of masala Mix well with this. Three cup of water. One, two, and three cup of water. Now to prepare tempering for curry, I'm using here two tablespoon of sunflower cooking oil. Oil is ready here. I'm adding here one teaspoon of cumin seeds. So cumin seeds are now crackling and I'm adding pinch of fenugreek seeds with this. 8 to 10 curry leaves. Mm. 
one dried fig leaf. Five to six whole cloves and two elisi. Pinch of asafoetida. This whole tempering is going in the curry. Keep an eye on the curry and we are preparing our curry on low to medium flame. Do not boil it more than 3 to 4 times otherwise your curry will be crumbled. Keep stirring otherwise it will stick on the bottom of the vessel. Our curry is ready. I am switching off the flame and garnishing it with freshly chopped green coriander. And it is ready to serve. Now we are preparing our Gujarati dal. So first I am going to add all masala and then we will move to tempering. Same measurement I am using for dal as well that we have used in our curry. I have here one cup of cooked lentil. This is two ver dal. I have cooked it only with water, nothing I have added. This is very plain dal. And in this dal, one cup of dal carries three cup of water. With this, I am adding one tablespoon of jaggery. I am using here one tablespoon half full of our masala that we have made. So we don't have to add here turmeric or red chili powder because we already have in our masala. One tablespoon of cooked peanut seeds. This is optional. If you don't want, you can omit this stage. Salt for taste. Now it's time to temper our dal. Adding here 2 tablespoon of sunflower cooking oil. Oil is ready and I'm adding 1 teaspoon of mustard seed. Mustard seeds are crackled and I'm adding here a pinch of fenugreek seed with this. 1 whole red chili and 8 to 10 curry leaves. 4 to 5 cloves. 2 chopped green chili and 1 teaspoon of grated ginger. 1 whole tomato that I have roughly chopped here. Pinch of fenugreek paste. Pinch of asafoetida. Mix all well and I am going to cover this tempering for 2 minutes and let our tomato nicely cooked and tender. So you can see here our tomatoes are nice and tender. Now I am going to add this tempering in our dal. First mash tomato and make a nice smooth gravy. Now this tempering will go in our dal. Mix well and I am going to allow the dal to boil for 5 to 6 boil and keep stirring on low to medium flame we are boiling our dal. So dal has started boiling and after bringing to 6 to 7 times boils I am switching off the flame and squeezing half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Green coriander mix them well and now it is ready to serve. So here our curry and curry masala, dal and dal masala is ready and I have served here with rice, plain rice I have served here. You can use jeera fried rice or khichdi with curry and jeera fried rice with curry or you can go with jeera fried rice with dal as well. Hope you all have enjoyed very simple recipe and this is very very healthy as well. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. See you all next week. Till then. Bye-bye.